All right, all the giants are dead. I've entered a spot where I could summon my phantom. Makes me a little nervous. Oh, son of a bitch. I remember Limgrave. You talking about this guy? Well, this is definitely a job for... Whoops! Didn't mean to drink that. All right, Black Knife Tish. Go get him. <coughs> Sick him. <coughs> oh my God. Black Knight Tish. Holy shit. She just opens up. Please don't do fireballs. Yeah, Black Knight T is just kind of the coolest. Looking at me, were you? Oh no! God damn it! No! Ah! Oh, Taco Black Knight Tish is fucking incredible. Like, I still like Mimic, and don't get me wrong, Jake Jarenhall is still in in my heart. It's still all about Jake Jarenhall for me. Fuck, I love Jake Jarenhall. Oh, yeah, fuck. Yeah, we fuck. Wait. Oh, there's a stake here. If you're curious about where to get Black Knight Tish, I will show you. It was a long, arduous goddamn fight to get her, but it was a fun fight. Alright, Black Knife. As always, let's go with the spell that actually has range to it. Good shot, Black Knife. Good shot. How's your horse breathe fire? Horses don't know how to do that. I've checked. I fucking checked. I know. All right, Black Knight, keep me safe. down the sky dragon great claw dragon claw shield <gasps> sleep well quark pleasant dreams I'll see you in the puzzle box Tumble to our feet, friends. <laughs> I see, I see. Yes, 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 yes. Well, that was a fun fight. 
There's a dungeon down there. There's a way down there? It looked like if I head down, left, under. Oh, something died. I kind of just want to hit that point. Oh, I already have that side of grace? Huh. Definitely have that side of grace. <laughs> Skirt! Got that from the other side. Let's see if we can find Mr. <coughs> Blanker. <coughs> 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 A fucking bear? Two bears. That makes it better, I guess. Oh fuck, there's a thing that only big things can break. That means there's a very big bear somewhere, isn't there? I bet if I kill you, your really big bear friend will show up. And yeah, you can't hack it. If there's a bear mother nearby, I want you to know I'm killing your children. Lucille, you've named it Lucille, have you? What do we have here? Oh, is this another entry to the underground? No, doesn't glow. This is gonna be a hero's tomb, isn't it? Hero's tombs are fucking scary. I think we'll just go ahead and, uh, grab the grace, mark it for later, and then come back. Although, there is a thing I can put a key into real fast. I got a lot of these. Oh, you pieces of garbage. Assholes. Assholes. Golden epitaph. That looks like a cool sword. Alright, and there's the actual hero's tomb. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and, uh... <coughs> Put a nice little skull on this. <coughs> Denoting we have not done it yet. such a long pull. Like, it has to reach the top, and then it has to go all the way down again. Which means it has to be super extra long to do this job. That's outrageous. That's not what that, uh, stone... No, the statue is pointing down here. Alright, where's this fucking bear? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Because while I was down there, I should have leveled up. <clears throat> I just want to make sure there's no, like, surprise, the big bear and two small bears. Oh. 
Yeah, we need uh, we need something to open the statue for us, which I have just located. Thank you, thank you. Ugh. Not glowing anymore, right? I got my I got my crap. Man, please. Oh my sword. Get the sword out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, bear, please! Oh god, there's like no- no stutter, no knockback. Fuck! Out, God damn it! Yeah, bears can get very big. They are scary. Stake of America or the Grace? They're both underground, aren't they? No matter what, I'm I'm underground. Apple outskirts. <clears throat> Don't leave me, poop. Behind me? Without your guidance, I'll be lost. Enjoy Lucille, daughter of the devil. Now, let's grab my souls. We could aggro giant bear and then lead giant bear into doorway. God, you just your fucking shield, you lunatic! Run! Fucking ride the horse! Oh, you're on my terrain now. <coughs> you stupid bear. <coughs> Mana, come on! This stupid bear does not give a shit. <gasps> I will cheese the bear. Getting mighty frosty, ain't you, bear? Frostbite the bear. They kept walking up and taking pictures? That's how you die. That's scary. You don't- don't approach grizzly bears. Holy hell. I feel like that should just be common sense. And you should know, don't, do not approach a giant fucking grizzly bear. Unless you have a death wish, I guess. But yeah, unless you have a picnic basket. Hey, boo boo. Hey, boo boo. Yeah. Oh. Ah. All right. 
right, here is what the thing was pointing at. I could finally level up. This is a catacomb. Because those things always point at catacombs. Or tombs, I suppose. My side tomb. Yeah, no, I got my wife, but I also got my side tomb. Always have a side tomb. Intelligence. Almost a 60. I don't remember what I'm working my way up toward, but I'm getting there. Spell-wise, what am I working my way up to? You're about to make that joke? Good, good. Arcane. Yeah, I think it is the moon. The moon is something I definitely want. Tibia summons. See, this is why I'm interested in Katase doing a, a, a faith and an int run. Like... You just, you could summon a bunch of cool skeletons? I want to do that. I think the Faith... Faith Int build seems like a fun combination of spells. And plus you get fire, too. It's just neato, I guess. Eternal Darkness... Carrying Retaliation might be a fun one to have around. But yes, we're trying to get to... Da Moon. Da Moon. One more point, and we'll be able to use Comet Azure. Which is like, apparently the really broken way to do things in this game. Let's see, I need 62. 629, so 63. I need to be at 63. Can I reach 63? Five eight. Six five. Level up. Time to break the game. We hit the first milestone. Probably instead of this one, we put Comet Zero on. Break in the game. Slots used three. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, that that means we have to change some stuff. Definitely keeping my moon blade. Definitely keeping rock sling. I need multiple slots. So we're basically going to replace crystal turret with this spell. Night comet. I'd rather hold on to stuff that is freezy based and gravity based. Also, Loretta's Great Bow has infinite range, and it's very good. Cannon's like a big AoE, so I kind of like having Cannon on there. Of course, I just need like one more slot worth. I guess I'll get rid of Glintstone Crag. I like the Frost buildup on it, but Glintstone Arc is more useful. Like if there's like six birds, one cast, I get all six birds and I can collect a bunch of feathers. It's just nice for like groups of mobs. So let's turn this into Comet Azure. Damn, I can't believe it takes three slots. Also, what did I get from my new Wondrous Physic? Uh, ruptured Crystal Tear, you blow up. Uses Quip Load and Mixed Physic. Twiggy Cracked, briefly stop Ruin Loss on death. Interesting. So you drink this when you're like, oh fuck, this is a scary fight. The other one was Cerulean? Restores half of- no, it wasn't Cerulean. Crimson Burst? I think it was just Crimson Crystal Tear. In which case, not very exciting. I do need to start, like, leveling up a staff that's not this gravity staff. We're at the end level now, where we would clearly have better returns by leveling something up. Oh no, don't be tiny jar- no, I don't want to kill jar boys. I am of the jar people now, alright? I'm on your- your team. Listen, I won't swing at you if you don't swing at me, alright? We all be cool about this. Be 
Be cool! Don't fucking do this to me, alright? I like the jar people. I don't want to fight you. You put the destroyed ones in the garage. Just put them in the trash. I threw two of them out. Oh, it's an... Oh, we've been so long since we've seen one of these. Where are we going? Oh, we're still in the same tomb? Does it just warp me between the same thing? No, two different... Two different chests, right? Now let's put a marker here. It, it got rid of my marker, of course. Marker there. You see someone will save him? No, those things are like 95% rust. I feel like I this is the first one. Am I doing something wrong? You know what I could do? Put a thing down. Put a glowstone down. Got blue here. I could hear them stomping around up there. I really should have just killed them so I didn't have to listen to the stompy stompy stomps. You sons of bitches, of course you're here. Like your natural goddamn habitat. You're weird if you were in here, I guess. Brave glove wart. I think I'm mostly good on glove wart. Like I got fully upgraded mimic, fully upgraded Tish, fully upgraded Jacob Jar and all. What more can a man want? I hope the guy who did the Pokemon mod for Dark Souls 3 does a Pokemon mod for Elden Ring, because, like, the mechanics are partially already here. No! Bad Gremlins. That Pokemon mod was great. What? You missed. No. Be cool, bro. Be cool. Be cool, man. Ah, dude, come on. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh! Some crackpot. Perfumer's Cookbook 3. Okay, I'm excited to look at that. Perfume's interesting. And of course, delicious. Raw meat dumpling. Decoy ahead. All right, purple rock of air. It's a weird dungeon. Ah, 
side is an invisible wall. Whoa, what the fuck are you? Listen, you guys have a future, all right? Don't do this. Do, do you really want to die that badly? Whatever, I'll teleport up to you eventually, I guess. Holy. The way of tarp. We're going to... Oh, I literally was just talking about how I'd be seeing you soon. And now I need to go back through the trap. Oh, I should really hit the wall behind here. Damn it. It looks suspicious. That wall is a bit on the sus side. Watch me kill your friend, you like that? Alright, where will this take me now? Will I be back down? Prep required ahead. Yep, there's his corpse. Back up we go. <gasps> the wall, though! Uh, I should really, I should, I should really teleport back and hit the wall just in case. But let's, uh, wait a minute. Was that a different place? Left required ahead. There's my purple rock, so we've definitely been in there. What's curious, though, is it looked like there was an item... ...on the ledge... ...from down below. Was I just imagining things? Was it a message? Probably a message. Alright, normal wall. A little disappointed. Was no look, that's clearly an item. Light blue. We see light blue, we know it's not an item, it's a message. No light blue down there. This is a different place. Most peculiar. What a bizarre dungeon. Yeah, I like this one. Like, these are usually some of my favorite... favorite mini-dungeons, are these tombs. As they're usually filled with interesting traps and have weird little, like, design choices. Alright, where are we going now? What we got going on here? We can go up the stairs on the left. Could have been peaceful friends. Why? It's rare to see so much thought put in level design. This is a FromSoft game. These guys are, in my opinion, the best when it comes to level design. Like you look at Bloodborne, Dark Souls One, Dark Souls Three. The incredible, like some of the 
pinnacle of level design in those games, and this is definitely no exception. It is phenomenal stuff. They know what they're doing. Wait, that didn't make the crack break noise, right? No lever ahead, therefore think carefully. Beware of right. Hello. No. Stop making me kill my friends. <sighs> like this feels very like Dungeons and Dragony. Like a particularly malicious DM has put together this kind of dungeon. Teleport around. Your first experience with Dark Souls was a roommate's big screen TV, and there was something off with its refresh rate. It made you ill. Mmm. <clears throat> yeah, that's never good. Like, when a game has a bad FOV and, like, a lot of head bob, I get really sick, too. Alright, no purple rock in there, so this is a different room from the one we saw last time. Fuck. Fuck. Oh my god, I'm confused now. I go down there, that teleports me to a thing that looks like this, but is not this. A look-alike. If I get in here, it'll teleport me somewhere, but where? Here. But I thought I used this one already. Ladder, that's promising. Be cool, little guys. Be cool. We're all on the same team here. There it is. I know I killed your dads. But I wouldn't worry about it. Still doesn't answer the question of where's that ledge I saw a while ago. There's a ledge with an item, but I still haven't figured out how to get to it. Yeah, right? So now I should be back at the beginning. Yeah, here's a little stompy boys. Oh, 
Oh, we were able to see that lever the entire time. That's amazing. And the boss room. Oh, he's using more root resin. Warden Duelist again. I'm sorry, I'm just, I, I used the I win button already. That's my bad. You want some more stars? Have more stars, bud. Soul Jars of Fortune. Oh. Oh, the pun. Oh, God. Soul Jars of Fortune. Felt that one like a kick in the teeth. It's a good name. Those are new butts. Those are new butts. Might have to level those guys up. Have myself some Soul Jars of Fortune on my team. A weird looking boulder there. We're talking about butts? I just got one of those little ghost summons, and it is it is an atrociously good pun. Soul jars of fortune. These reckless spirits sacrifice themselves to vanquish their summoner's foes and explode upon death. Though their bravery is admirable, their explosions can harm friend as well as foe, and they will also immediately explode on contact with fire. Tell the others. Tell them how brightly a fire jar burns. Soldier of Fortune was a dope-ass game. I remember Soldier of Fortune because I was playing that in the living room on the living room's computer back when I was a kid and that game's whole selling point is that when you like shoot someone like their arms get blown off their legs come right off their heads explode into visceral chunks like the game was basically really pushing the fact that it was a gory experience and uh I've always been I've always been a headphone person like when I play games I love headphones it really lets you, like, have a sense of, like, spatial awareness. And it just sounds really good. I like headphones. So I didn't realize that my younger sister was watching me play, and she was, like, six or seven at the time. And suddenly I feel a tap on my shoulder, and my sister's like, take their legs off. <laughs> She's like, oh my god. I feel like maybe I shouldn't be playing this with you watching me, Jesus? Ever try the torso challenge? You had to make it so the only thing that hits the ground after you <laughs> burst is a torso. The torso challenge I'm familiar with is the, um... The torso challenge from... Kenshi. The Kenshi torso challenge. Which, of course, is beat Kenshi starting the game as just a torso. <laughs> well, that sounds really good. Turtles. Oh, baby crabs. Don't really blame my sister. Like, I was fascinated by the gore mechanics of that game as well. <laughs> but it, it did startle me. It was just like, oh Jesus, I'm, I'm creating a sociopath oh, in in on. in real time oh, here. You again, is it? Hey, bud. Perfect bloody timing, actually. I got crab cooked up fresh. You should probably know. There's something I should probably tell you. You heard of the dung eater? Oh yeah, He's I know. A madman has it out for everyone. Curses him. Goes round in his rank armor and all. You see him though. 
Stay well away. I was in the same jail as him once, so I know first hand. He's a god forsaken monster. Not just some petty thug like me. Not a nice guy like you. He's a killer. Kills people. And curses the souls. Does all sorts of shit to the corpses. To keep them cursed forever. Good lord. I've seen nothing more disgusting in all my years. I've never been more scared than either. Rooted to the bloody spot. While he did that. To my friend. What a nice gentleman, the Dung Eater. Seems like a real nice guy. Greatly boosts physical damage negation. I'll buy a few crabs from you. Five crabs, five scrimps. Never met someone with a taste for crab I couldn't trust. You've got a real thing here, eh? Fanny! Thank you very much for that raid. How is it going? Dark Souls 3, nice. What are you doing in Dark Souls 3? Tell me. Hot espresso beverages. I wish. I wish I could actually drink them. Hello, Empress Jody, Dark Jedi, and Fanny. What are you doing in Dark Souls 3? You playing vanilla? You doing a mod challenge run? First time? Preparing for this monstrosity. Nice. This game is amazing. It's amazing. There's so many different ways to, like, encounter and solve the various combat encounters you run up to. It's a lot of fun. I think that's death right there. Well, no, not if it lands there. Put! Oh, no, not if it lands there. I just want to know if that's water all sinking or water with ground underneath it. Come on, rock. Put! You're killing me here, kid. Put! I'm just going to assume I'll die if I go in there. That looks like a pretty proper moat to me. Yeah, you find Shrimp Boy chilling here. Like, I wonder, did he get up here by taking the the mine? Like, the, the mine way up? Or did he get up here some other way? Oh my god, it's a curse! No! No! Oh. Well, that's a death-blighted crab right there. I thought it was just going to blow bubbles at me. It was gonna be adorable. It was like, oh yeah, bubbles! I love bubbles. But no, that that crab is is beyond the realm of life and death, and uh, fucking ruined me. It, it was blowing bubbles, but they were cursed bubbles. Cursed bubbles. Very scary bubbles. Death bubbles. The most hardcore of the Powerpuff Girls is death bubbles. That's right. You get the cosmos in you, you die. That's why we fight with the cosmos. All right. So we just hung out with crab friends. The crab took my wallet, but I got it right back. What we got up here now? I think this is the other side, so I haven't seen this yet. No, 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 we're on the same side. That's that's the minor ur tree from before. I think. Yeah, if that's Blackguard, that's the minor ur tree. I think it might be time now for us to go to Capital Rampart. I would love to get a map piece for this area so I can see what the hell's going on. Oh, that's right. There's actually something I want to do before we move on in here. Now we want to go to the four belfries. 
You're on the fence about buying this or Tunic? Well, if it helps, Tunic is on Game Pass. So if you wanted to, you could do like the trial of Game Pass, where it's like a dollar for three months or something like that. It's a different deal all the time. It's either like a dollar for three months or like the first month is three dollars or something. You should check a look, but Tunic's on there. Uh, I would say this game is a lot more game for your buck. This thing's huge. Like the game is massive. It's massive, mates. It's fucking massive. Tunic does look cute though, and I might check it out. Even for dirty foreigners. I don't know, you should check. Like, hit up the uh, Xbox Game Pass and take a peek and see if it has a deal. You're conflicted, Gomper. Tell me about your conflict. What what's what's conflicting thee? What pray tell my child? What are you conflicted over? Tunic has a nice design. Like I, I like the aesthetic of Tunic. So I've heard rumors that since the 1.3 patch, there's something else here to find. There's a game by a Russian developer you're interested in. What game? Out of curiosity. You can always wait, like, pick it up a little bit later on down the road, ideally when the conflict is over. Well, can't do horsies here. High fleet. What's high fleet? <clears throat> A shipbuilding game. All right. <coughs> Very gritty. If you post that in the Discord, I'd love to take a look. A peek at it. A little peeksy weeksy. Is I wrong? I heard that there was a chest added in here or something. I can clearly see a chest right there. Alright, with that knowledge, how do we get up there to reach said chest? That's the new question. I think I figured it out. Storm King Hawk. It's a key item. A key item. That's kind of surprising. Oh yeah, we also got a perfumer book I want to look at. Iron Jar Aromatic. You've been playing Core Keeper and Workers and Resources Soviet Republic? Uh, I remember when we got that on the wheel. And I spent ages just trying to figure out how to get the trains to run. Stormhawk Dean. Oh, right, I forgot. We were just looking for that hawk thing in the key items. Ashes of a hawk which heeds no summons. As a hawk revered by all others as sovereign back in the days when Stormville's winds still raged like no other. This ancient monarch is proud, however, refusing to answer anyone's summons. Alright, I'm not sure what that's like for, but it's interesting to have. It's a key item, so it must be related to someone's quest. You're deeply in love with workers and resources? I did terribly playing that game. Like, awful. Awful job I did. Wanna know what to do with it? Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. Like, I, I, I'm one of those, like, if I could figure it out, I want to figure it out on my own. Oh my god, the map marker's right here? Jesus fuck. Well, well good, good lord, go get the map marker. What are you doing? Oh, I appreciate it, Taco. I appreciate it. If, like, you're watching and I'm about to, like, do a terminal event that will prevent me from ever doing the thing in question, feel free to be like, blah, 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 blah. if you proceed any further, you won't be able to do the hawk. And, uh, I'll, I'll stop. But, like, no pressure. 
It's not your job or nothing. It's more of a casual thing. Oh, son of a bitch. I teleported to the wrong thing. Well. From the highway. From the highway. I will have this map marker. I should have noticed. I always put a little blue thing down. Alright. Straight ahead. Yeah, game developers aren't responsible for invading another country. It's really a question of, like... Will the Russian government somehow, in any way, benefit from you purchasing that thing? Probably not. Oh! Oh my fucking god! Oh, Jesus! Oh my Christ! Oh, I'm bleeding from my asshole! Oh god! Oh god! There's, there's like crossbows that shoot triplicate arrows. And they just ruined my whole body. Let's, let's snicker, sneak around back. Oh my fucking god. So my life flashed before my eyes. That legitimately frightened me. I was not ready for that. My soul left my body. Alright. You look like a health ball. Which I mean, fine, I'll take it. Crossbow, god damn. You dodged a literal bullet going around, right? Oh, he's got a trumpet. He's got a wee little trumpet. You in the brass band, are you, lad? You're fucking dead. That's what you are. Gentlemen, let's be cool about this. Tried to warn you to be cool. You're probably fine to patron that developer, Gopper. And this one restores the blue Gatorade. Let's take a sip of it. Ugh! Man! I wish if you took the time to destroy these things, because they, they have like a health pool. And it's not an insignificant health pool. That they wouldn't respawn afterwards. People still need eat, even the government sucks, it's true. Like, I doubt the government will get a slice of that particular pie if you buy the game. Some sword makers had to leave Russia because of the sanctions. The stuff that really makes me upset is... When you look at, like, um... Folks that are looking to... Oh, those are great bows. That could be a problem. Oh, yeah, no, they're setting up their great bows. Uh, refugees. Like, you have Ukrainian refugees. They're being let in. That's good. They should be let in. But there are Russian refugees who are leaving because they don't want to be, you know, in war-torn in fucking Russia either. Or be in a country that's going to purport this war. But they're not being allowed in. And it's like, oh, you should let them both in. Like, if they are leaving the country, that's good. Give them a place to go. But I certainly don't... don't have answers for these kind of problems. I just have my emotions. My reactions to learning about this stuff. The time has come to try my new spell that I just got the points for. OK, 
casting time is probably too slow, but let's try. No, what? Don't shoot into the ground. What's wrong with you? Well, new spell let me down. Let's just murder this person. Oh, you're just a normal guy with a big-ass sword? You like that? You like the cosmos? I released from my weird little stick. All right, not cool, dude. All right, dude. All right, yes, you've impressed me. You can consider me impressed. But you're dead now, so. Oh, he's squared quite the fuck up. I'm hearing another beetle. I don't know. As we are all aware and not surprised, war, war sucks. Like, war fucking sucks. It's complicated and messy, and there are no easy answers for any of it. Mana ball! I mean, one easy answer is don't do it, Russia. I did read a really fun article about, like, why did Putin feel so confident with his invasion? Like, what wasn't... There should have been someone around him that would probably be like, hey, this is going to be a bad idea and it's going to go wrong. Like, why didn't that happen? And it's because he is, in fact, like a, a dictator, a despot. He's not a democratically elected man. He's the kind of person that if you disagree with him, you get sent off to a horrible place in, like, Siberia. Like, it's bad. Which means he's surrounded by people that are only going to yes-man him. Yeah, surrounded entirely by yes-men. And so you end up, like, kind of getting high in your own supply, you know? You're... you're you're not thinking in a way that's, like, logical or have any any kind of critical thinkers around you. You just have a lot of the same people all saying the same things. Because over time, anyone who disagrees with you gets weeded out. So he walked into this thing thinking he was going to be untouchable. And it was going to be over real fast. It's the strongman fallacy, I believe they were referring to it as. All right, I'm going to try and just obliterate one of these horsey people. Can you get back in the beam? Get back in the... Thank you. Stay in the beam, please. Oh! It was working real good. It's my first time doing that. Particularly nasty little exploit. Or combination, I should say. It's not an exploit. Cool! I like how you guys are super synchronized. That's neat. Holy shit. Black Knife! Black Knife, do your trick! He's definitely willing to throw human misery at the problem. That's like already what he's doing. Difficulties Russian army's facing isn't the kind of to bother him. So, I agree. Like, he's not the kind of person that's gonna give a shit that there's a lot of human suffering because he's kind of a monster. That's kind of his thing. However, with all these sanctions and all the uh, world governments specifically targeting 
the wealthy oligarchs of his country. There's a possibility we might see a, a good old, good old assassination attempt. Lord knows no one's gonna warn him about it at this point. Black knife! Black knife! Thank you, Black Knight. Lure him over here! Into the rocks, please! Whew. Earth Tree Great Shield, Hero's Rune. Hey, Cora, what's up? Black Knife is a big damn hero. They learned this lesson in Chechnya. All right, I finally got my map piece. Came all the way back for it. You would think that would have stuck with him, but again, this article I read I really, uh, I was rather compelled by it. Like, they made a good, compelling argument that the strongman problem is without naysayers, without critical thinkers around you, you kind of just, you fall into a weird little hole of believing your own lies. I think I might be able to get another charge? Lasks, add charge. Five? I need one more. One more! Ah, uh, much better. I really like having map. Man, how'd I miss this? 